Hello, everyone. So this one is alternating current part. That is resonance in LC and LCR circuits. OK, so we will see what is the difference between LC resonance and LCR resonance. OK, so you can make table like this. In one column, you take LC resonance. In another column, you take LCR resonance. Now see, the first point in LC, that is net reactance x is equal to 0. OK? In LC oscillations, net reactance is equal to 0. Whereas in LCR also, net reactance is equal to 0. Next one, at resonance, XL is equal to XC. This condition is same. That is omega L is equal to 1 by omega C. Then only resonance occurs. We know this. So in LC resonance, XL is equal to XC. Similarly, even in LCR also, XL is equal to x that is what the resonance condition we know all and now in lc oscillation the impedance that is z is equal to zero and here in lcr z is not equal to zero you keep it in mind why because when xl is equal to xc the circuit behaves as a pure resistive circuit and impedance becomes r yes because there omega L minus 1 by omega C term will become 0 and Z is equal to under root R square, which is equal to R. And that's why impedance here is what? R. In LC oscillation, impedance is equal to 0. Next one, peak value of current, that is I0, is equal to E0 by impedance. Here impedance is 0. So E0 by 0 means something divided by 0 will become infinity. And that's why in LC oscillation, peak current is infinite. Whereas in LCR, peak value of current is I0, which is equal to E0 by R. E0 by Z here also, but Z is what? R, and that is what? Maximum. Next one. Resonant frequency is same in both LC and LCR. That is nu is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root LC. It is a denominator. Even in LCR also, resonant frequency is nu is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root LC. That is also denominator 1 by 2 pi, 1 by under root LC. Next to here, voltage and current, they are differing in phase by pi by 2. That is phi is equal to pi by 2. Whereas here in LCR, voltage and current are in same phase. That's why phase difference is equal to zero. Here phi is equal to pi by two, here phi is equal to zero. Why? Because it behaves as a pure resistive circuit. And in pure resistive circuit, there is no phase difference. So power factor, if we will calculate in LC oscillation, cos phi is equal to cos pi by two, which is equal to zero. So power factor is going to be zero in LC resonance, whereas in LCR, power factor cos phi is equal to cos 0, so which is equal to 1. Understand? So this is what the difference between resonance in LC oscillation and LCR oscillation. Note down this. OK? Note down. Yes, finished. Let's move ahead. Now, next one, that is half power frequencies. So first of all, what is meant by half power frequency? OK. So see, the frequencies at which the power in the circuit is half of the maximum power. So the frequency. If suppose power is, maximum power is suppose 20 Watt and 
at one particular frequency if you are getting power that is 10 watt then that frequency is nothing but what your half power frequency okay now the current in the circuit at hpf hpf means high uh, half power frequencies is 1 by root 2 times maximum current 1 by root 2 times means 0 0.707 which is 70.7 percent of the maximum current okay at this half power frequencies if you will see the diagram here you see this is power and here it is frequency that is angular frequency so you can see at this point the power is p and this line is we can say half power frequencies so p is equal to what p max by 2 so this power is what half power and for this you are getting some frequencies yes this omega 2 and omega 1 these are called half power frequencies understand so see here this p is equal to what p max by 2 as i said earlier if p maximum is 20 watt then you may have this power as a 10 watt and for this power you are having two frequencies omega 1 and omega 2 these two frequencies are called as half power frequencies so what is this omega 1 and what is this omega 2 omega 1 is called lhpf lhpf means lower half power frequency lower half power frequency and for this frequency circuit is what capacitive so circuit will behave as a capacitive circuit yes and this omega 2 omega 2 is nothing but upper half power frequency that is uhpf UHPF means what? Upper high, half, upper half power frequency. And for this, circuit is inductive. Okay. So in this region, circuit is behaving as an inductive circuit. Okay. Understood. Next one. What is the bandwidth? Bandwidth is denoted by delta omega. And the definition of bandwidth is what? The difference of half power frequencies. Now, what, what we have half power frequencies, omega 2 and omega 1. So if we will take the difference of these two, we will get bandwidth. See here. So therefore, delta omega is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1. That is what bandwidth. And bandwidth is always, you know, the difference of upper half power frequency and lower half power frequency. Even in communication system also, we have learned this bandwidth. Yes, for speech signal and all. Yes, no. So bandwidth of speech signal is 2800. This we have seen because their lower frequency is minimum, uh, three, 300 hertz, upper one is 3100. If we will take difference, we will get 2800. That is what nothing but bandwidth. Here also, this delta omega is nothing but what? Difference of this upper half power frequencies minus uh, or this half power frequencies, we can say upper half power frequency minus lower half power frequency. Understood? So note down this. Yes, finished. Let's move ahead. Now, next one that is quality factor. So, what is this quality factor and what it gives here? It gives sharpness of current voltage, current voltage curve at resonance. This will give you how much sharp that curve is. Next one, if Q is more, sharpness of curve is more, and if it is less, it is less. Now you see here one graph I have plotted. Current I have taken on y axis and voltage I have taken on x axis. And I have shown some curves here. You can see. So here you see here R is high. So Q that is quality factor is low. In this or for this curve, R is low, quality factor is normal. For this curve, R is very low and quality factor is large. For this, it is more yes and r is very very low okay next now what is the quality factor actually see quality factor how we can calculate we can calculate like this resonant frequency to the bandwidth resonant frequency is omega naught and bandwidth already we have seen delta omega delta omega is equal to r by l and omega naught is equal to one by under root lc if we will substitute here you can see q is equal to at the place of this omega naught i have substituted 1 by under root lc 
and at the place of delta omega, this is one by delta omega. Delta omega is equal to r by l. So one by delta omega is equal to l by r. So this l I can write as a root l into root l, and one root l cancel with this root l. So you will get one by r under root l by c. This is what quality factor. Okay. Now another formula for quality factor is voltage across l or c divided by applied voltage that is across the resistor. So voltage across L means VL or voltage across C means VC divided by VR. And here you write that is VR. Okay. Which one? Here, here. This is VR. Now this VL is nothing but IXL and VR is nothing but IR. So if I will cancel this II, I will get XL by r or even here also i can cancel i i because this vr is i r so this i and i will get cancelled so you may get like this formula vl by vr is equal to vc by vr which is equal to xc by r or xl by r all these formulas are for quality factor understand so note down this Yes, finished. Okay, let's go ahead. Now see here, one note point. This quality factor Q is equal to two pi into maximum energy stored in circuit divided by energy loss per unit time or we can say per period. So this is two pi and maximum energy stored in circuit is half L I naught square. This we know and this energy loss per period is power into time. So I naught square R by two. That is what power into time. So now here, what we can cancel? Half with this half, this I naught square, I naught square. Then what is left you see? This two pi by T, L and R. So two pi by T into L by R. This two pi by T is nothing but omega. So that's why I have replaced here omega naught, L by R as it is. Again, omega naught is one by under root L C and into L by R as it is. So this is one by R under root L by C. Okay. This is also one more formula for the quality factor. Anyhow, you are getting same, but this is important. Okay. So note down. Okay. Note down. We will move ahead. So see the next topic that is choke coil. So see, this choke coil is nothing but a device which has high inductance and negligible resistance. This choke coil is used to control current in AC circuits and is used in fluorescent tubes. In our houses, uh, we are using this choke coil, okay? I will show you that below in the diagram. So see here, why we are using this choke coil? Because it has less power consumption. And uh, to avoid mercury tube from damaging, we, are, we should connect this choke coil in series with the mercury tube. That is, this choke coil is nothing but simple LR circuit. So see here, if you will see this, you will get idea of the choke coil as well as the tube which we are using at our houses. You see, this is what fluorescent tube. Fluorescent, we can say this is starter. One small starter, you know, when we will rotate, no, tube will start. This is what AC and here it is switch. Switch on or switch off. And here it is choke coil which is connected in series. Okay. So what is this? It consists of one soft iron core and you can see here, this is what copper wire so that its resistance should decrease or resistance should be less and this iron core so that why we are using this iron core yes why to improve inductance okay to improve inductance and to redu reduce resistance we are using copper wire and this is what ac source understand 
Now, in this case, if you want to find impedance, it is same like LR circuit. So Z is equal to, we know this, R square plus XL square. And that's why R square plus omega, omega square L square. Same like LR circuit. Next one, if I want to find peak current, then it is E naught peak EMF divided by impedance. That is R square plus omega square L square. And IRMS value, you know, ERMS by Z. So this is E naught by root two under root R square plus R square plus omega square L square. And if someone will ask you to find VRMS, then IRMS into R. So this IRMS value already you have, just multiply with R, you will get VRMS in the choke coil. Understood? So ideally for, if suppose choke coil is ideal, then its resistance is zero and there is no power consumption, we can say average power is zero, no electrical power wasted. Clear? So note down this, all. So let's move ahead. See here, energy of LC oscillations. Now, let Q0 be the initial charge on capacitor, okay? And uh, this capacitor, we will charge first. And this charge capacitor, we will connect it to, we will connect to inductor. Then what happens? This omega we know already, omega is equal to one by under root LC, which is equal to two pi nu. So what I'm doing, whatever the charge at time T is there, I'm assuming that Q naught cos omega T. What is the charge present at time t? Q naught cos omega t. Now current I want to find at time t, I will take derivative of this, so dq by dt, this minus Q naught omega sin omega t, you know, this Q naught is Q naught, and cos omega t differentiation minus sin omega t into this omega t differentiation, that is omega, and that's why I, I got minus Q naught omega sin omega t. Now, energy stored in capacitor at time t, that is UV is equal to half CV square, this formula we know. So, half into Q square by C or Q square by 2C. So, here Q is equal to what? Q naught cos omega t. So, that's why at the place of this Q, I will substitute this value. So, you will get Q naught square cos square omega t by 2C. Okay. Now, energy stored in inductor at time t, that is UM is equal to half LI square. So half L and this I, already we have minus Q naught omega sin omega T, we will square it. So minus will become plus, so Q naught square, omega square, sin square omega T. Now this omega square value is what, already we have written here, you see, omega is equal to one by under root LC. So omega square will become one by LC. So, at the place of this omega square, I'm going to substitute that and see here, half L Q naught square, at the place of this omega square, I have substituted one by LC, this L and L will get cancel. So Q naught square by two C into sine square omega T, okay? After this, if I will add these two energies, this UV and UVM, and you see here, this equation and this equation, okay? So what we will get? Q naught square by 2C cos square omega T and Q naught square by 2C sin square omega T. I will take Q naught square by 2C common. It is equal to sin square omega into sin square omega T plus cos square omega T is equal to one. And that's why what you will get, you see, Q naught square by 2C, which is equal to your initial energy. Understood? So transformer video already I have uploaded. You can note down that also. Okay. So this is what the end of the chapter. Please note down the notes. Okay. Right. We'll stop here.